everybody. I'm Christopher Green. You're tuning into AMTV Alternative Media Television. Please click the link below before we get started. Support our sponsor, Infidel Body Armor. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. It is the body armor that you want to be wearing when the you know what hits the fan. Click the link below and support our sponsor right now. <laughs> Honorable wow. Paul Hallier, a former Minister of Defense of Canada, and, and he believes that life forms from space exist and are present on Earth. It's great to have you with us on our show. Why do you say that UFOs are as real as the airplanes flying over our heads? Well, because I know that they are. And they've been, um, as a matter of fact, um, they've been visiting our planet for thousands of years. And one of the cases that would interest you most, if you give me two or three minutes to answer, is uh, during the Cold War, 1961, there were about 50 UFOs in formation flying south from Russia to the, across Europe. And the uh, Supreme Allied Commander was very concerned um, and about ready to press the panic button when they turned around and went back over the North Pole. So they decided to do uh, an investigation and they investigated for three years and they decided that um, with absolute certainty that four species, four different species at least had been visiting this planet for thousands of years. Former Defense Minister Paul Halier of Canada claims aliens exist. He says there are some 80 different species walking among us at any given time. Now this is major, this is breaking, this is incredible because it's the first high level official, quote unquote, to admit that aliens exist. Now I'm not quite sure if this is his opinion or this is stated fact coming from a former high level figure within the Canadian government. What does Canada know that we don't here in the United States of America? Which brings up a point. What do you think? Do aliens actually exist? I mean, is this kind of overflowing into the Scientology ideology? Is this Tom Cruise insanity where we're going to be jumping up by, you know, an Oprah Winfrey show and showing how crazy we are uh, that we believe that aliens somehow seeded uh, the planet and founded life to where we are today? All of this, of course, is possible depending on what you believe, depending on what your reality is inside your head. What do you think? Is any of this possible? And why would this individual, this high-ranking figure, be bringing this to our attention right now? Is this some kind of false flag event to create hysteria, uh, to move our senses and our eyes and our attention from the Fukushima disaster, which is a very real, tangible disaster affecting the west coast of the United States and, of course, the Pacific Ocean right now, contaminating our food? Is this a smoke and mirrors game to take our attention away from that. Uh, we reported on that widely earlier, which should be very concerning for all Americans. Aliens existing throughout the galaxies. You know, a lot of scientists believe that it's statistically more plausible that that be the case. The fact that we're living and breathing right now, that I'm speaking to you on air, on camera, makes us believe that that infinite possibility exists. That, that theory is that there could be another AMTV and another person like me delivering this message to you right now on an alternative planet or an alternative universe. You know, there's a reality TV show coming out on Mars where they expect to take about four different people and blast them off after yo-yoing them through the atmosphere around the planet and pushing them into Mars. It takes on average about 150 to 365 days to get there and it'll be a one-way trip. They've had, I believe, over 200,000 applicants so far. A lot of these people just simply crazy, but very much kind of like an independent Independence Day, let's go seed a new planet, which makes you think, if we're seeding new planets and we're colonizing different parts of the universe, is it not possible that at one point, given point in time in history, light years away on a planet we can't see, possibly in existence seeded planet Earth to start new life? And could there be aliens walking among us as Mr. Hellier claims? 
the former defense minister of good old Canada. I'm Christopher Green. Get this video out everywhere, hard hitting and in your face as usual. Please click the link below to support our sponsor and share this video virally.